What's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Hey, if you're new here, please click that like and subscribe and don't forget to bang that bell notification this way. You get notified every time I upload a video. Well, what's today's video all about? Well, I'm doing something I have yet to do. That's right, new to me, hopefully new to you. And if this is something you want to learn how to do or do yourself, watch me struggle so you don't have to. And what are we doing? We are installing the Harley Davidson Rodford Fosgate Stage 2 Boom Audio in a 15 streak light. Now, all the other amplifiers that I've installed and speakers were done with the uh, amplifier on a, on a tray on top of the radio on the street glides or under the radio on the road glides. Well, Harley Davidson, in their infinite wisdom, to power up the two speakers and the fairing, the amplifier mounts in your left hand saddlebag. That just makes no sense to me. Just a whole lot of wiring to add to your bike. Instead of just doing it one location, uh, we're going to have to drill a saddlebag, two two and a half inch holes, and six mounting screw holes. They do give you the template. It can be mounted on the left bag or the right bag. Uh, the practice is always the left bag. And um, so I chose the left bag. The owner of this bike bought this kit and uh, we are going to learn just as you do. So I've already taped up our mounting bracket or our template. Also marked it off with um, a Sharpie because you never know what can happen. And so if that gets a little destroyed, okay, we have it marked as well. So I'm going to dig right into it. I'm gonna start drilling these holes. Uh, when we get to the two and a half inch holes, I'll bring you right back in uh, when we drill the second one. So, more fun to come and this is gonna be interesting. All right guys, I got the six mounting screws done. I got the one top hole out, that's two and a half inches. Now we're gonna work on this bottom one. I started this one before I started this one. This way I have a starting point here because this is going to get real weak so I just wanted to do that before I get involved here so without further ado gotta love the smell of burning ABS plastic you could taste it yeah you could taste it okay guys we're through and you can see we got the the little biscuit in here. Ouch, it's hot. So piping hot. Oh god, it stinks. Sorry. Biscuit! A stinky biscuit made yeah. out of plastic. ABS plastic yet yeah, too. So if you, you want to do this, don't be afraid to just jump in there and start drilling. But make sure you take your time and mark the holes. Now you're gonna have some rough edges here and what I use I just go around with the knife and clean it off so just make sure you do a nice job cleaning up on the inside and the out believe it or not and we're actually gonna cut this like right in here does it need to be yes it does because if you look here you see there's the two here with the space it does need to be cut so you have a good seal that day so let me get a now cutoff wheel mm. yes cut off wheel oh ah. you got the brain bucket opener yes more power <laughs> as my friend Ted the tool man Taylor would say more power <laughs> welcome to the dentist's office that's a bigger dentist drill. Okay. Yeehaw. And here is the hole. There's the hole. Now, they give you all the screws and everything to put this together. They even give you 
this nice plate that snaps in. Uh, this will be actually on the inside of the saddlebag. This comes through. And these are T15. Uh, so we're going to just test fit this now. See if we need to make any adjustments. And it looks like uh, I did a bit of all right over there. Lovely. It's a nice fit. Looks just like the CVO now. So let me clean out the inside of the bag, get this mounted, and then we're going to go through and do the rest together. All right, guys, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but the drill bit sizes I started with, I started with the 564th drill bit to start all my holes. You could use the um, soldering iron trick I showed you with the Torpak. But I figured with that plastic template wasn't going to be good. Then I moved up to a 532nd drill bit. And I did all six of these holes. And the center holes for these with the uh, 564th and the 532nd drill bit. Then from there, I went right to the 2.5 inch hole saw to drill this one and then the bottom one. You could do it in either order. It doesn't matter. But... These are the tools that you need. These screws get massive high torque. Massive high torque. You're going to need a one inch uh, torque wrench because I'm only joking. It's only 10 to 13 inch pounds. Not a whole lot of torque holds this in. And just to show you what it looks like on the inside, it's still kind of dirty, but you can see how nice and neat that is and the amp is going to mount inside of here or the bracket is going to mount inside of here the amps going to mount to that and then there's a cover and then we do all the wiring going from this saddlebag all the way up into the fairing and once that's done then we move on and we're going to change the uh speakers yeah that's that's where the sound comes out of the speakers we're going to change the speakers and we're going to tie that all in and then we have to I'm going to attempt to flash it. I don't know if my unit can flash it or not, but we have to tell the radio that it has an amp and how many channels. So we're going to have to do that as well. So you know, this is where we are. I do have to put his little wire keeper back. I had to take that off because of the template. So we're just getting started. All right, guys, so I connected our wiring harness to the back of the saddlebag for the amp connectors. And now I'm going to get the saddlebag somewhat mounted so I can zip tie these where they need to go. And they get zip tied right here to these lug connectors. So I'm going to zip tie them up so the wires are out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this bolt and then this one over here it'll move this whole fuse tray out of the way so i can bring the wires up inside of here and that's all i know right now because i haven't gotten that far in the instructions i'm actually taking my time i did skip a step and the reason i skipped the step is which was mounting the amp bracket and the amp inside the saddlebag and the reason why i skipped that was is i wanted this bag secured to the bike when I do it so once we get this all done and secured up and tie in the rest of it before we tie in the rest of our harness we'll get that amp installed so without any further ado I'm going to pre install two of my zip ties here this way when I bring this up I could just zip tie the wires and then unplug it from the bag, remove the bag, zip tie the, the other remaining two and do all the clippings and everything so the bag's not in the way or getting damaged. We don't want that. So here we go. And so with this being here, trying to just line up the bag where it needs to be. And it's happy home, which is right about there. Mm. And let me get this zip tie going. And uh, 
working half blind here, holding up the saddle back. That wrong one. Ah, right one this time. And they give you the zip ties. So that's a good thing, I think. All right, now I know where roughly where that's got to go. Just going to pinch and pull on these plugs, get them out of our way, and move our saddlebag to a safe location. Safe location. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, That's one. This has to go inside of here. Oh, the spaghetti. Hey, it's spaghetti day. <laughs> Anthony. That'll actually be Wednesday, but. Yeah, or, but Wednesday was per spaghetti day. Yes. So what, uh, it's day early. Italian families eat pasta a lot. Yes. We could say that because Mel was raised by Italians. Yes. <laughs> so <do> you. <clears throat> and now the last zip tie gets fed up inside of here. So now all this wiring is kept away from the pulley and the wheel. Nice and safe. Connect it. Yep. And it won't be dragging. Nope. And now these two screws. That's one. That's two. Move this up out of the way, and you can get actually right in behind the frame. And the BCM is going crazy because it moved. If you're wondering where the BCM is, it's right here. All this fun stuff comes up inside of here like it is. Yeah, I got it. And I want to get one more zip tie and I'm going to zip tie this up here. There you go. Let me get that zippy tie. Zippity doo da, zippity in. Oh boy. <clears throat> now we know, looks like this goes up towards the battery compartment, which, mm. trying to find a clear path for that. Mm. Which there will be once I get the battery out. I got to remove the battery because I'm replacing it too. So let me get this battery out and we'll continue on. All right, guys. So this is where we are. I found out reading the instructions. There is a Y connector here that goes to the data port on the side of your, your motorcycle. Tuck that wire in nice and neat. They give you the second one, so when you need to flash it or do anything, you have it right there. So just tuck this stuff up out of the way, nice and neat, and nobody's none the wiser. So now that that's done, we can put our side cover back on. And if you're curious, here's all the rest of the wiring harness for that amp. This goes to the positive, ah, this goes to the positive battery terminal, this goes to the negative uh, battery terminal, and then we have audio out and audio in out connectors that this is for if you're going to do speaker lids, that's where they would connect here. Uh, but this is where we're going to go forward or is it this I don't remember I have to read the instructions again but this harness would go forward up into the fairing and then everything would connect and be happy 
So let me plug in the saddle bag down here at our nice new connectors that we have zip tied up out of the way. Hey, am I doing this wrong? Because this is the first time I'm doing it. So if I'm doing this wrong, someone please let me know. Okay. That's one. That's two. Oh, it's getting hung up around the... Okay, I got it. There we go. It's getting hung up on the antenna bracket. We still got to mount the amp inside of here, which we will do next. I want to plug in his bag blades from our friends at Custom Dynamics. Okay, so now what I got to do is I got to clean the inside of this panel with some rubbing alcohol to put the bracket in. And I'll show you the bracket. This is the bracket. These are uh, 3M. It sticks to literally inside of the saddlebag. The amp mounts to this and plugs in down here. So once I get this installed, I can plug in the harness, put the amp on, put the cover on. I don't know if that's supposed to be bent. I don't think so. I'm just bend it back. Look at that. Bingo. And, uh, you know, we'll just keep moving forward and working on this project. So I'm actually, this is kind of a challenge for me because again, I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. I've never done this before. So quite the challenge. All right, so we got some denatured alcohol with the clean uh, shop paper towel. You could use those uh, alcohol wipes that you find in your medical kits, things like that. But I go through a lot of it over you know, a course of time doing different lights, audio systems, things like that. So you really wanna clean the inside here really good. Cause it's only gonna be that 3M tape holding that bracket to the inside of the saddle bag. So you wanna take your time. Like I always say, take your time, do a nice job. I know I sound like a broken record. So we're gonna let that dry on its own. And uh, we'll get the mount, the bracket mounted up momentarily. Okay, so while we're waiting for that rubbing alcohol to dry, time to start prepping this. You get these two little rubber mounts that just push in on the bottom. <coughs> and here on the, let's open up, unwrap our amplifier. Da, da, da. And Ooh, plastic bag. This is not a toy. It won't fit over most people's heads. But your cats will chew on it. That's it. So with that, you have these metal screws here that go in that we're going to put some uh, thread locker on. As you know me, I love using thread locker. And we're going to tighten them up. So that doesn't give me a torque for it. So I'm going to go just tight. And these are 7 sixteenths. Just so everybody knows, that's over there now. Mm -hmm. All right, a little thread locker on the thread part. Mm -hmm. This secures the bottom of the amplifier. Now we'll do the other one to the bottom of the frame. And then there's screws on the top with a cover that will secure it on the top end for that amp bracket. So 7 sixteenths. That's good. You don't want to go too tight. Don't want to break these or strip them out because that's what holds it in here on the bottom like so. These will actually go in there. The wire connects to here first, slide this in. That'll mount here. And then this cover goes over everything with a couple more screws. So it's kind of interesting how this all works out. 
All right. You know, somebody once said directions are for losers. Well, in a case like this, I'm a loser. So I'm using them because I don't want to buy this stuff. There we go. All right, the bracket, no, the bag is now dry. Now we're going to mount the bracket. The important thing is, is you want to have this as close to center as possible. So we're going to pull off our little protection strips here for the glue. That's two. Now three. So when putting this in, <clears throat> you really got to be careful not to get it adhered until you have it somewhat centered where you want it. I, I think that's pretty close to center. Yeah. Looks good for my house. So what we're going to do is just press it right in. We're losing these. These go up here. The rubber? Yep. Oh. They don't want to stay. No, they don't. That's all right. We'll make them stay. Ah, that's all right. I'll, I'll get them glued in. I promise you. All right, so now we're going to plug in our amp and mount it. So... Sorry, I had to move that. So. You better be. No. <laughs> so, what we need to mount our amp are these two screws, no uh, bread locker, and then the cover. Because this will screw to the top and through the holes there. So, the amp. We're going to plug it in. I think that's all the way in there we go just clipped all right the wires go underneath the tab you can see it over here yep. down in here the wires go underneath here and now this amplifier gets mounted in those little rubber booties or rubber covered things yes it's not as easy as, as it looks. Let me uh, change places with you. Okay. I got it. All right. I struggled with it. I won't lie to you. But the secret to do it is starting on the inside nipple and then do the outside. Now we take our... There is a wire I'm trying to avoid. Mm. Hey, we're in. Mm. Excellent. Excellent. And if you're curious, it's a 5.30 second. And that's it for the amp install inside the saddlebag. I think that looks pretty good. I think I did a good job like the CVOs come. Mm -hmm. You guys let me know what you think of that. All right, guys, I got the saddlebags all buttoned up with all the wiring. And I cleaned up under the seat. We do have some wires left. But before we go into finish wiring this up, I do have to, uh, like, here we got these three. I'm probably only going to be using this one. Oh, right there, this one. And this one and this one are just going to be tucked up neatly out of the way. But before I finish wiring that up, I do have to upgrade our speakers. And to upgrade our speakers, I have to remove these pods, which is on one on each side. You got one, two, three. 
screws there and then you got one inside of here or and then these two up here and that pot will come away then I could replace the speaker and the speaker grow on that side I'm gonna do the same thing on this side I'm gonna do one side first and then I'll set up the tripod and we'll do this other side together so I tied in the uh, amplified signal wire to the left side at least get that done now I fed that down through under the neck here and I'm going to clip this all off sneak that underneath and then we'll plug it in and then this way when I'm done I could put the uh, the seat back on I know get a tripod and you're right I should but unfortunately right now I can't so let's see what we could do here with what we have hey I think this will work out so there you go so I unsnapped all of that and I always like to hide wires you know so we're gonna sneak this in here just like that down inside down inside here we go. it gets tighter down the bottom guys trust me on this it will okay the front looks good now we're just gonna snap this in that one bring out the edge that's that one and now this one just got to snap that in sometimes you got to get underneath it hold it up yep I just got to snap this one in I'm not happy it's not going but we'll get it there we go that's that one now this last one there we go that's all snapped in now we'll come back down towards here we'll take our two ends there we go this is the end that's coming from the fairing this is the end coming from the amp and they will come together and marry up just like that like a nice old happy couple so what I want to do is I'm going to try and find a way to run this a little bit neater. Um, same thing with that plug. All right. So as of right now, guys, electrically we are tied in from the amplifier coming up underneath the backbone of the bike and then up inside the fairing into the left side speaker pod which i'm going to move this around uh, and same thing with the auxiliary power here and then the right side speaker pod or signal wire which will go into the speaker pod once i get all that figured out and now we're going to do the other side together and how do you do it well it's simple well not really but there's three screws you got one up here one here one here and then there's three more screws inside of here behind all this wiring and those are seven sixteenths and then there's two screws up here and the trick to get into this screw back here is to unplug your gauge and then we're going to remove all of this unplug our speaker harness and then remove the gauge pot and we're going to bring it to the bench so let me get that done and when i get inside of here I'll show you what fun that is. All right, guys, just so you know, this these are a 7 16th. And there's a couple ways you could get at it. You're going to need a couple tools to do it. One would be a nice, small, quarter-inch drive ratchet. Uh, and the bottom one here in the front is easy to get to. All right, so what I like to do is loosen them up and then spin them out by hand. They're not that hard. 
but it's these upper two that are the hardest to get to. Uh, and if you take your time and don't get frustrated like I do, then you'll be able to get to it. So now I'm gonna switch over to the 716 swivel head box wrench to get up inside of here, hopefully. You can't remove this speaker pod without getting these bolts out because uh, there we go that one's loose i should be able to get up near my fit i do i actually i do put them in first sorry because i want to get the hard part or the pain in the neck part done out of the way uh, so yeah it's a it's this is a joy at times there we go that's two i'm gonna put these bolts down so i do not lose them and now for the inner you got all the wires always in your way and you'll feel it it's close to the fork tube i'm not pulling the wheel and pulling the forks to get to this so i think i got a good bite on it there we go and it comes loose and again you know, once you get it loose work it with your fingers this is the technique that i found that works best for me now is there another technique another way of doing this i'm sure there is but i haven't found it yet so if you know and you want to share with me go ahead and share that information all right next we're going to disconnect all the wire bundles from the speaker pod and I use the body uh, door panel pull uh, screwdriver just get behind it and pop them out those are those Christmas trees unplug your speaker and we have this little piece here all right got it off it's one of those Christmas trees just pops off so now we got all the wiring out of the way. This one stays, that's part of the speaker pot. And what's left? We only got three screws left. And if you're curious, these are three sixteenths, like most everything else on this bike. And I always start up here. And I loosen it. And then I remove the other two. So let me get this done, and then I'll see you on the table. All right, we're at the table. We've got the speaker pod off, and that's how we can get to these four screws to remove the speaker pod. So we're going to do that. Change the clutch. Out with the old. So these pop up. There's two wires. There's a thin one, which is the white, and then the black one. And sometimes you might have to wiggle them to get them to come off. Just like that nice good tight fit and what are we replacing it with i'll show you in two seconds check this out isn't that nice again it's the rodford fosgate by harley davidson on both sides for the best sound and aesthetics and you really can't mess this up plugging your wires in because there's a small one and a wide one you know big to big small to small but this is where you got to pay attention because when this goes in the bike, like I said, you want that tweeter towards the radio. Yeah, you could do them out this way, but the way this is designed is tweeter towards the radio. So now, change our clutch. Take our four screws. And I start all four before I tighten them. Then after this, we'll work on the speaker grill. And if you're curious what that looks like, I'll show you in, in a second. I think I already showed you, but I'll show you again. Okay, that's it for the pod. But before we install this, we got to put our speaker grill in, which is two pieces. This here faces towards the front. So there's three screws, one, two, three, and they're countersunk that this mounts to 
the interfering. And then the grill mounts to this. And then once that's done, then we could um, install our uh, speaker pod. So let me get this done and I'm gonna show you that. All right, I got our adapter ring installed. You can see there's one screw, two screws, three screws, and those go in and those are a T20. So now we're gonna do the speaker grill, which comes from the, you know, the backside of the interfering towards the inside of it. So you gotta push it in this way and there's four screws that hold that together. Let me get that set up and we'll work together. They do give you all the screws and extras, believe it or not, that come with this kit. So what I usually do is I'll start with one. So I'll slide this in just like that. And I'll take a screw and I'll start it here. The tops on the top. Because there's two of them that go up here. And again, you know, I'm not using any, you know, drill tools or anything because this is all plastics and it'll be easy to strip out. Now the other two, these are countersunk. So let me grab those. We'll get those installed. So here's a nice countersunk. And make sure when you start them, you start them straight. That's, and again, that's not tight yet. It's snug, but it's not tight. Now we'll do the last one. So that's one, two, you know, three and four. And now our speaker grill is installed. And now we get ready to have fun and install our speaker pod. So I grab our, our speaker pod that we just built up. And you know, gonna move stuff out of our way, and I'm gonna put it in place, and then I'm gonna start this top screw, and then I'll put the other two in. You know, again, I'm not tightening anything, this is all just going in at a loose fit because I might have to move things around. Like that one, I just, you know, had to shift this to, to line up the hole. Now I'll line up these two. And if you're curious the size of that, the top two screws, they are a four millimeter. And like everything else, start it by hand and, you know, move it around to get them lined up. You know, because this is plastic with metal, things do shift and move, and I'm able to, you know, run these almost all the way in by hand. And I should be able to do the same on the bottom three, which are, you know, a pain in, uh, you know, what. But this one's always a lot of fun to get to, because you have all this wiring, the gauges, and the... Uh, the ear deflector in your way. And yeah, I can remove the ear deflector. But I don't want to because I'm trying to being a little bit lazy here. Let me get this started. Okay, just like the removal process, again, and all the other screws that I started by hand, I'm gonna start these. I always start at the easiest of the three to get to because it gives me like a false sense of security, like, oh, this is gonna be nice and easy and things gonna go well. Um, and as you can see, it, it could be a pain in a, being a contortionist to get into here because it's so tight. Okay, that one is just about tight. And then when I tighten them up, I start here. Then I do the three on the outside and then I do these two up here. Let me get that done. All right, guys, the so last thing we got to do is mount the Bluetooth dongle connector. And what is that? Well, it looks just like this. And it, you have to come get the wiring harness to go with it. And it plugs into your 12 volt source here. <coughs> it's got a wide connector. It's got a, a pairing button right here to pair your device. And it, 
interrupts the right hand uh, hand controls. And that's it. And the only thing left to do is get the radio flashed. I can't do it. I don't have the program to flash this radio to tell it has an amplifier and all that. He's going to have to take it to Harley and get it done. And he knew that going in. Um, I thought I could do it. I tried it, but my OBD2 scan tool is just a scan tool and, you know, turn certain things on and off, but I can't turn things on and off with the radio. All right. That's it, guys. That's all I got left for you. Hey, if you like this video and you made it this far, please give me that like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell notification down at the bottom of the screen. All right, until the next one, you guys live the best life you can right often and ride hard. Like and subscribe.